<sighs> What's up, everybody? Uh, let's listen, listen, listen. There has been a disruption. There has been a disturbance in the force. There has been a huge <laughs> disturbance in the force. Kendrick has randomly decided to go at J. Cole and Drake for some reason. I don't know what just happened. This we all know is about the Mount Rushmore of of hip hop, you know, it was Kendrick, it was J. Cole, it was Drake, and now apparently uh, Kendrick has decided to go at both of them. So I guess uh, he's, he's pissed off at the light skinned dudes right now. So something must have happened, I guess. I mean, after the last song that Drake did with uh, J. Cole, um, I, I guess Kendrick kind of like felt some kind of way or something. But um, as of right now, he teams up with Future to, to make a diss track. Uh, and I don't know wh where is that coming from. Apparently, Trey thinks he knows Blue about that, there. right? So, okay. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves Trey Pound in the building. We got ourselves Poochie Man in the building. These are the hip hop heads, uh, the community. So, you know what, guys? Let me know what what is going on. What just happened? Yeah, I'm lost. Like, how did this happen? What, what, what's uh, going on? Listen, this has been brewing for a minute. If you know. There's like been a lot of like low key shots been fired from every side on everybody. Uh, now I know there was a time when Kendrick was like, uh, like just like the whole uh, East Coast like for a while, but he was doing that, that out of competition. A... This is not this that this is not that. Yeah, like, that that's I mean, what I was thinking. Like, oh, is this like another competition thing or something like that? And and don't no, for... no, 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 and no. don't forget, um, J Cole said, um. Uh, you remember that verse? Like he's like, um, uh, if I diss somebody, it, won't, it will be legit. It won't be for fame. It won't be because somebody mm -hmm. slid in my lane. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I feel like J Cole's probably not gonna respond unless he really thinks this is legit. But um, so I I explain, Trey. Why do you think this is like, uh, like this isn't like some promotion thing? This isn't some kind of like, uh, you know, oh somebody's gonna release an album, so now he's coming out to diss just to promote something. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, this has been a long time, and if you've been paying attention, Future really don't rock with Drake right now either. No Metro Boomin. Uh, it's been only a yeah. long time, and yeah. this is just part one. Listen, part two might have some more people. Really? He, no one think thought that they were gonna get Kendrick over here, and the fact he said what he said basically means the theme of the album is, oh, you ain't riding with us. Well, all right then, you getting rolled over. Damn. Like, uh, it's literally that. Uh, Poochie, what 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 do you think? What what just happened here? Yeah, it's just what Trey said. You know, it's ever since that before the East Coast, but remember he dropped that control verse on uh, Big Sean shit. Yeah, yeah. But remember, he he was trying to reignite the game because it was going stale. But now, you know, the shit with Drake and Future and Metro booming because Drake went to go do a collab with Twenty One Savage. Future, you know, say, oh, you know, you slighted me because you know we were supposed to be partners. Oh. So now Future and Metro Boomin hooked up. They got Kendrick on that verse. And then J. Cole's verse on First Person Shooter is like, you know, me looking at the greats is me looking at Drake. You know, he's like, where? He just left out Kendrick. So he is in his feelings. He is in his feelings. They, he, I, I it's not, no, it's not a feeling. feelings. He's just like, I'm on my own shit. I'm on some rogue shit. But, but this is basically, like, I'm trying to tell you, they've been sending shots at each other for a minute. Drake, like, be sending subtle shots that if you don't know, you're not going to see it. Right, like the sneak dissing and shit like that. Like, that's all. Yeah, that's yeah. why Kendrick said, oh, you going to keep sneak dissing. It's just big me. Like, it ain't big three. It's just big yeah, me. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's about. the verse. Yeah, it ain't no big three. It's big me. And that's why, you know, because... Everybody knows the the Mount Rushmore is those three right now. Now, like this is a weird picture because you got like four Kanye's on the bottom. Uh, now, when it comes to the Mount Rushmore, I think Nikki does deserve the spot. Uh, she don't. No, no, she no, don't. No, no, what? No, 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 no. no nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. No, no. Nikki is definitely up there, bro. Come on now. No, she's not. No, she's not. Oh, no, she's not. God. I'll tell you who to replace her, and you're gonna agree with me on that. Okay. Replace her. Uh, let me and see. You know, and it is gonna be controversial to some people because. Even though I don't like his newer stuff, and he's not as great as he used to be, the Mount Rushmore should be the greatest people of the time. Of all time. Like, I, I, okay, so Mount Rushmore. It's him. But because you, you still you still have Mount Rushmore where it's um the ones who are alive now versus the ones who have passed of or, or I'm sorry yeah. the uh, mm -hmm. the ones who are alive now versus all time. When you start, she does not deserve it. Yeah, when you start doing Mount Rushmore of all time, then obviously they're not gonna make it in you know what i mean like but um when it comes to the ones who are alive now nikki probably deserves a spot 
No, she don't. She what? don't. She could, she could be no. a pebble, you know, like she a could be a oh, pebble. Not, okay. <laughs> Listen, she is not there. We gonna have to stop with this. So, Bro, if, 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 if three people that could be in Nikki's spot, and you will agree with this. Oh. And you will agree with this. Oh my God. Kanye is one. Kanye is one. You can't just can't, you can't diss Kanye. Right. Cannot. But I think I think Kanye. Kanye's from you a different. Can't diss Wayne neither. You can't diss Ye neither. But you, you, he's from a different era. You know what I mean? Like, there's like different, like, like there's generational gaps between um, Young Money and the dudes that came up before them, and then the ones that are out Wayne now. Wayne is like, still relevant. Wayne is still relevant. Well, no. I, I, so when we talk about Wayne and Mount, Mush, Mount Rushmore, Wayne is above all of them. Like Wayne is like, uh, he's like a uh, goaded ahead of everybody. And they've already, I, I remember, um, I think it was Breakfast Club that were talking about that, is that when you talk about Mount Rushmore, you can only add like four spots. But when you talk about Wayne on Mount Rushmore, he's like on the top of everything. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah, so, he, yeah, yeah. he's guaranteed a spot no he's matter what. He's guaranteed a spot no matter he's what. Been, he lived yeah. through so many eras. Yeah, like, yeah. If you talk he, all he, time, he's, he's yeah. up there with Jay. As much as people don't want to say Jay, he's well, up there with Jay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, so again, Jay's alive, yeah, but again, I, I think I think that is a generational gap because let's t look at uh, this one. Uh, this is Mount Rushmore: Biggie, Pac, Jay, Nas. Like that's the Mount Rushmore. I don't, I don't believe that's the Mount Rushmore either. Mm -hmm. All time greatest, because I I would take out Nas and put Fifty there. Fifty over Nas? Bro, fifty over Nas. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, okay, okay. We got okay. So then we have to. We have you to. Can, you cannot deny the the, the impact. Fifty okay, exactly. Had. So you that's why. So that. so here here's the thing. That's why I put Nikki on that spot because her impact is is way more. No, her impact is no 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 no. She <laughs> rode the coattails like she just she was the only female holding it down. If you want to talk females. Either it's gonna be Queen Latifah. Or, oh no no Missy 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 Missy's more R and B yes. though. I feel like I don't no, feel like she's not. like no, she not. no she not. No she not. Man, I don't. No, I know Nas. I'm from the East Coast, and yes, Nas can spit. Nas yes. is a really great artist, but he really ain't start coming to his own until he start linking up with Hit Boy after. Yeah, like, it's, he's more of like let, let's keep it a book. Yeah, and then y'all talking about Fifty Nine. Listen. 50 is the only person to have a, like he's his impact will never happen again. Yeah, because he was the that last. He's a, okay, he is the last of what we can what we consider gangster rap. Like a no, lot of the gangster rap, that. it's not even gangster fell off. Rap. It's just the fact that he translated so well to everybody. Yeah, he translated like, well day, in this club plays on rotation. Candy shop to this day. Even though I hate candy shop. But yeah, so does everywhere. so does so does Sir Mix a lot. Baby got back. It doesn't make him a legend. But that, but that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Up there. That no, that is legendary shit. Like <laughs> yeah, legend. legendary shit. Uh, but... Cool J is a legend. Like <laughs> right. Like, okay. You gotta understand. Yeah, yeah. Nas, and I, I get what you're saying. You gotta understand impact. Impact. Impact, impact, like, impact definitely plays a heavy role because when you talk about let's say something like Big L or um somebody like Big mf doom right I'm exactly like mf doom yeah those guys they're legends in their own right but their impact isn't the same as let's somebody like you know uh eminem 50 cent um you know hey Nicki minaj i'm telling you she, she's listen, she's in there um listen and 50 50 like he stole still like sells out arenas to yeah, this day yeah yeah no no he, be, and, Nicki that, couldn't even do that now and she's still doing new stuff like come on now uh, uh, I, I think I think I, I think what the her latest like her, she dissed um God who was it um Megan. she dissed no Megan. it didn't hurt her it's just the fact that like yeah, yeah that was like really her weakest shit. her own legacy she's been tarnishing her own legacy for a minute so that hurts her in the long run yeah yeah I, I'd say I say uh, like later uh or like recent Nikki hasn't been the best but she still paved the way for a lot of other female MCs and mm -hmm. her impact is still pretty no, big. No, she just came she came in at the right time. She came in at the right time. It was just opportunity cuz all the female was doing it cuz but Eve uh, but, was, but Eve has been chilling. She was more in her acting shit. Missy went on a hiatus was doing more producing and helping other people get on. But Queen uh, acting. But Lauren it's, Hill does God knows what. Like, come on. Well, Lauren Hill's <laughs> Lauren Hill's a uh, uh, different story. Lauren Hill's come a way different now. story. Like, but on, uh, but I, I will say that she she came in at a good time, right? But she also earned her spot because she was going at it with like Little Ma and Little Kim and, and all these other uh, female MCs yeah, that were Kim. trying to fight for a spot. You know what I mean? So Kim all of do some personal shit. Remy Ma got locked up. Like they, there's a lot that yeah. like, Nikki had the perfect storm. Like I'm yeah, kidding, I can't deny that. Right. And then before she got blown up, she actually was really good. But then she let 
her fans and everything gets her. But even even out. when Remy Ma came out, even when Remy Ma came out, she still murked her. And then you still talk about Little Mama. Little Mama was trying to get into it. Little Mama's nice, you know what I mean? But I mean, she tried she to- She Remy. Remy just has an unfortunate thing that she's too hood. Yeah, like, she's a little she's a little too grimy, you know what I'm saying? Cross over. She, Cause Remy Ma do live by what she say. She really do shoot people. Like, and I'm that's, not playing with her. And that's like, you can't, and that's why she doesn't have the impact because she doesn't she doesn't have a business mindset. She doesn't know how to. It's not even it's not even the business. It's the fact she didn't cross. She can't cross over well. Like it's it's not even a, it don't matter how much business mindset you have. Sometimes you just can't cross over. Right. And when it right. comes to Mount Rushmore, you have to have you have to have it all. That's why I said fifties there. That like fifty could be there. But then if fifty makes it, then so does then so does Nikki. You gotta understand. You, you can't have one but not the other. No 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 no. You can't have one without the other. No, Nikki like, is nice is, lyrically. The impact she had on female rap, it, the impact she had on female rap is good, but it's like of all time, you could put like three female rappers I just named over her and and give her sure. give them her career uh -huh. and then her so, do the so, exact same thing even better. Her like, impact, like said, her impact over female rap is 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 um you know quantifiable because let's let's keep it real, let's keep it a buck. Who's running hip hop right now? The females. They are like yeah, let's let's keep it a buck. The females and Drake. Yeah, the females and Drake, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's who's running MC. That could not have happened without Nicki, a hundred percent. So you're telling me her impact isn't that in, uh, uh, impactful? Nah, nah. It, it, she definitely deserves a spot. Absolutely. Like they're also, running the game. Like, but, but if you do it, but like there's other females out that she don't like right now. Right. She no, because she has beef with all of them. Into it. Because because uh, uh, unfortunately that's how we see it when we see female rappers they have to go at each other you know what I mean it was just like little Kim and um uh and uh God what was her name uh Foxy Foxy yeah Foxy that, like we we like just the general hip hop community pitted those two together when they should have been collabing you know what I mean because they're just two females and they're like oh they're two females yo they gotta be beefing you know what I mean that's just how it yeah, is it's it just the mini competition sometimes can't always be kumbaya like, right and and, like, it's, it's, and that's why i like this kendrick j cole exactly so Drake yeah because it's straight competition ain't nobody trying to shoot each other over no crazy shit. right right exactly so so you said that this was bubbling for a while because um they they basically drake is a diva i'm gonna keep it a buck he's a yeah. diva for real for <laughs> real he's still sending shots at push and push is like i don't care i'm doing shows with louis vuitton and shit i don't care <laughs> <laughs> But he squashed, like he's, he squashed that beef with Meek, right? Like, he squashed the beef with Meek, and they started doing videos together and shit like that. And but I, that was totally different. Like, that, mm -hmm. that was over Nikki. Like, that... That was over... Oh, that's over Nikki, you think? That was over a lot of different, like, petty stuff. Like, Drake getting a lot of petty beefs. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I said, as a Drake fan, like, he got good-ass music sometimes. Like, he's been spotty lately, but he do have some good shit. But he's petty. Yeah. He yeah. is super petty. Yeah. I think that's uh, uh, kind of why he like uh, snuff or not snuff, but he kind of like uh, 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 dissed uh, Ice Spice because he was like he was like uh, coattail uh, on her coattails for a while, and then all of a sudden he just dropped her. So he's being. Like, I mean, nasty. he got what he wanted. He got what he wanted. And it's like okay, well yeah. you're done. Like uh, move on or whatever like that. So here's the thing. Um, I, I I feel like hip hop has been kind of stale for a while. Um, this is kind of revitalizing my interest in hip hop. I feel that with the loss of people like Triple uh, X, Pop Smoke, Nipsey, that hip hop in general is just missing something. It's missing the ones who actually have like a uh, the, the voice that can actually reach people. Just like with Pac, you, just you, like you, with Biggie. Hold on, hold on. You say that, but there's still people that has a voice. You got Lupe Fiasco, who's one of the best lyrics, in my opinion. Lupe, really? Lupe? What? Lupe actually is really nice. But I, I know you. that, I know that. Why I say, this is why I say Petty is a problem a little bit because when you carry certain shit, like it hurts you a lot. Like that's what I'm saying. Drake is tarnishing his legacy because he keep going at push and push, not saying nothing because he inherited the beef between push he, and Wayne the, and Baby. Oh, uh, here's he the inherited thing. Here's that because he wanted to be riding for it, not knowing push is one of the deadliest MCs on there. Yeah, no, if I mean you think he of is. Coke rap, you think of him. But man, yeah, I swear, but Pusha and 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 um, it, it wasn't even just that. It was uh um, yeah, Pusha T. To me personally, I think he rapped way too much about drugs. Like every fucking rap was about drugs, like everything. And then you come out to find, find his background, he was never really like that. 
So no, he's no, got he's no, got bars. No, he was. He he's was. got bars, but that, he he was like that. Is just the fact that like people wanted to say it, and you're not because they got paid to say so. Yeah, Drake put money for the say it. It's you gotta remember, not. money talks. Yeah, most deaf. I would put most deaf up there, but then he said something funny about Drake, and he made himself look bad. I'm not uh, like not. Nah. No, he wasn't wrong though. He, he was Cole's music, he, but he comes no, off he as a hater, wrong. and you got it. You gotta you gotta be like you have listen, to be mindful listen. of that. The, like the, my Mount Rush, this is the thing. The Mount Rushmore is everybody's preference. Like mine is yeah. basically off of impact. So this is mine, and this is this is strictly just off of impact. This is is Fifty J Drake because of the impact he had. Right. This is the, the latest stuff they carry over. And so, then Biggie. So none of us, put, none of us you, are putting M in there. I, I, yeah, M is on a different one. Yeah, M's on the pack. Bro. M's like M's on a different thing. M, M is like, like M is like a weird one because like he can hang with everybody, right? But it's like, well, depending on what era that you like him. In. Like I like two thousands era. Yeah, a beginning early two thousand. Like yeah, I don't like his new That's shit. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Yeah, I, like 50, I love either. 50. 50 has a lot of songs that I his, fucking love. Lamar's what's up, Pooch? I'm sorry. Like, what's up, Muffin? How you doing, big dog? But it's, I, I go quality over quantity, though. Like, yeah, no. Really um, it, You know what? I think M has the same curse as Nicki right now. Um, her Their early stuff was like, it was the best. And then now they don't have any material yeah, because they don't have. Garbage now, because they don't, you know, want to know why? You want to know why? Because they don't have anybody to beef with. To. They don't have anybody to beef with. And no, there M still got people to beef with. When he had, when he, who is his, who is his latest person he beef with? Was uh, fucking Benzino. Benzino. Like, Benzino. come on. Why does Benzino keep running his mouth. <laughs> right? Like, nobody cares. I don't, I don't, like, nobody cares. Sorry, I respect it. I respect it. I love. I like Fifty personally more than M, but I can't say that that M that Fifty had a bigger impact than M. Actually, I, I can't say that. He like, did. No, no, and, not, no, Nicky definitely not have a bigger. I'm from New York. I'm like born and raised in New York. I've been here all my life, and to say that, I don't know, bro. Yeah, no, no, nah, Nicky, like, Nicky definitely doesn't. Gank the rap, and I love that shit, but. Yeah, know. Nicky definitely doesn't have the impact. And of made rap cool to the to the certain colored people. <laughs> the burbs. <laughs> like we got to keep it a whole. But... I mean, I mean, but but look, Fifty kept it kept it running white, because man. he had M helping him too. Think about it. Yeah, no, I mean to be, to be real, there would be no Fifty without M. Let's let's just keep it a buck. Yeah, but, let's keep it a buck. Yeah, yeah, But 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 Fifty impact. did take it to another level. I I cannot deny that. Absolutely, like he did take it to another level. But I don't think lyrically, I don't think lyrically he he deserves to be on Mount Rushmore because his stuff was was very one dimensional. You know what I mean? But he had Ooh, a marketing, M he had a marketing scheme that was perfect. The whole Ooh, M or fifty. Fifty. 50. Um, lyrically, oh, no. see, see. lyrically, lyrically, well, he's so, not. So, how much of the mixtape era 50 before he linked up with? Uh, oh yeah, I mean them. him, him and uh, him and Royce the Five. Like during, yeah, during the mixtape era, that was godlike. Like, nah, no, absolutely no. Those no, guys, like 50, was always him. It's just the fact that production made him sound better. But right, man, exactly. First person, like y'all gotta. People don't put respect on 50 name. They're like, well, he ain't come out with nothing new because he don't have to. He got TV shows, movies. Yeah, he's on another. Li- he's on another everything. platform now. He's like on he's Dre's level right. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. I wouldn't. Dre thing because it'll produce. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say Dre's level, but I'd say he's 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 on his he's way. Close. Yeah, he's, he's on his close. way. Like, cause I mean, you got like Jay Z, Dre. And then you have 50 Eminem, you know what I mean? Like those guys are on a different level. And then Eminem's not even really doing anything outside of that, but they're still, uh, you know, making- uh, That we uh, know of. Yeah, yeah like he could be doing shit low key. Like a lot of rappers yeah. do shit low key. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, you yeah. don't know like- yeah, Em like, don't even have to fucking rap though. He don't gotta do shit. I mean, no, no. I mean, but that's that's the evolution. That's the evolution of hip hop. Is that they're expected to go to different uh, different platforms after that. If you're like, you know, um, uh, I, I, I don't want to shit anybody, but um, let's just say, um, if you're like E40 and you're like rapping when you're like, you know, almost like 60 and shit like that, then it's like, dude, like, well, like, are you doing anything with your career outside of hip like rapping? Like, I understand. 
You can it's be nice. Like they do it for the love of the game. Like, right, exactly. You, know, you, you can do it for the love of the game and everything like that. And and, and we all respect it. And they and they staying in their lane. Right, exactly. We respect it. But we I think I think there's more respect when you Nas ain't doing shit aside from rapping, bro. Exactly, exactly. And and we we can respect that, but when you get to a certain level, we we want to see that Jay-Z transition, you know what I mean? We want to see that mogul type of shit, you know what I mean? Because that's why we, we um that's why we listen to your music in the first place. Like you look at Pac right now, where would Pac be right now if it, um if he was still alive? I think he would be like a, a major actor. He would be a huge actor right now because that's where he was going before he passed. Like that's like, literally where he was trying to he do. Would have, he he would be what LL tried to be. Yeah, uh, I mean LL, right? Yeah, exactly. LL I mean, I and him, but he's mostly on TV and doing commercials. Yeah, I mean uh, you have LL, you have Ice Cube. I'm sorry, Ice Cube. No, LL, LL, you have Larry. Ice Cube, you have Ice T. All of them, they all transition. No, Tupac would be in the Oscars, like. Conference. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And, like, and he would have at least one or two. On the, yeah, on yeah. The, yeah. Pac would man. definitely be a full time actor at this point, like uh, without a doubt. Like, and and that's what I'm saying is that you would like to see the evolution of that because at a certain point, you, you uh, what are you gonna rap about? And uh, was that Andre 3000 said this too? Is like when he reached a certain age, he was like, what am I gonna rap about? Like my, you know, uh, uh, getting hemorrhoids and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like uh, once you get to a certain point, what else can you rap about? At a certain point, you gotta start letting the new generation, uh, you know, uh, yeah, start taking the mantle. The problem is that the new generation the kind of faltered the into um, I mean. the mumble rap era. And so when you let them uh, run rampant with the whole uh, mumble rap uh, uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, era, I guess, or yeah. When you start letting them uh, get into that that um, that mode, then you can't relate anymore. And then you start sounding like Snoop Dogg, who kind of dissed that. And it's like, oh, shut up, old man. You don't know what you're talking about anymore. But at the same time, it's like, damn, what what happens to the core of hip hop at that point? So we still is, need people. Change, so we we it still has to change. Exactly. Has to change we Absolutely. Can't, we can't keep it the same thing over and over. Like Absolutely. he waited on the Migos at first, but now everybody they put some people put the Migos on like. Their Mount Rushmore because of what they did. Yeah, I like mean, how they changed everybody's sound at one point. I mean, but was, I mean, there was a point in time where you couldn't go nowhere without hearing the Migos. Yeah, Earth but I mean, here's the here's the thing, thing about Migos. In, in my mind, but... in my opinion, is that it, it, it's like a it's a generational gap. You had two live crew, then you have um, Yin Yang yeah. Twins, then you had you Little John, compare, oh, and then you had, and then you got, got Migos. Migos, bro. That, those are those are like uh, you know uh, party party hip hop like uh, uh, um, uh, kind of. Uh, yeah, that that's the that's like that that era where like that just comes in and then then they go like they come in and then they're gone. Now, hold on, I, hold on. I want to answer this thing in the chat because somebody say Andre 3K was a cop out. Look at Nas. Listen, Andre and Nas are from two different worlds. Like you gotta remember. Andre is from the south, and he goes around just wandering around the whole world, just playing his flute. He know what he's talking about. <laughs> For me personally, I don't know what I'm going rap about. He's going around the playing his flute because he don't, he don't literally necessarily live that crazy ass life. He never did. Yeah, yeah, he, he never, never did. was out there hustling, drug dealing. All yeah, that yeah, shit. yeah. Like, hey, but so I mean, he early, a, early outcast. He was talking about he knows that. himself. Er, er, early outcast. He probably did do some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, he wasn't like in like yeah he wasn't like gang world. gang like, yeah yeah he wasn't gang he, yeah. he wasn't he wasn't Gucci man or Jeezy yeah it yeah, was yeah. BMF like he just rap what he saw or rap what his homies talked about and mm. he has it but he is top tier lyricist yeah no uh, did anyone have Ice T Busta Rhymes or anyone from Wu Tang and Mount Rushmore the only person from Wu Tang is probably Ghostface and that makes sense Ghostface from Wu Tang are you being gonna put math? Yeah, meth? So you gotta go put meth on me. Meth? Oh, what? You not gonna go put meth in me? Meth? No, that's man. That's had a lot of good hits. That's 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 good that, hits. We're talking we're lyrics, bro. We're, we're talking yeah. lyrics. Lyrically, talking, Ghostface yeah, eats lyrically. meth. Come on now. Lyrically? Lyrically? Like, okay, impact-wise, impact-wise, meth is, is up there. 100%. No, lyrically, meth is an assassin, too. Y'all just got stuff. Really? I don't know about that, man. I don't know. <laughs> even even the so, Wu Tang, even the members we, of Wu Tang will tell you. Even the members Jizz, of Wu Tang will tell you that Jizz, that. Yeah, Jizz, Jizz was definitely up there. Yo, know, Jizz, yeah, no, Shadow absolutely. Boxing, yeah, we can't forget about Jizz. Yeah, Shadow absolutely. Box is fucking amazing. I agree with see, that. See, see Shadow Box, and y'all not gonna sit there and disrespect Meth. Yeah, you're gonna disrespect Meth. How? 
Yeah, but but that's like that's like that's like one song. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't. You, uh, like I, I said, I like meth. I love meth as a, as a person, but as a lyricist, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I, I, I can't. I can't put him on. Um, look, look, look. I can put him up there, but I can't put him at the same spot as Ghostface. That's just that's just like just how it is. You know what I mean? Um, but okay. I'm not so, saying Ghostface is bad, but I was saying meth and Ghostface. I would if I had to get somebody to rap for my life that would save it. I would choose meth. Free. Oh, okay, okay. Um, no, Bill for Cuban Links. I mean, enough said. Like, Bill for Cuban Links. Let's... I don't know about Bill for Cuban Links, but that was Ray Quan shit, too. You know, you're going to keep it <laughs> Ray. Like, yeah, like, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, shit. All right, so here's the thing. Why is Future there, bro? Get, the, get Future the fuck I, out of there. I, 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 <laughs> well, okay, well, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, because we're, we're talking about impact as well, Muffin. It's not just, like, you know, um, it's not just the fact that, uh, uh, they're they're lyrically you know the kings you know what i mean this is why uh, they get a smaller spot there because i mean you, you you got um uh yeah, i want to say asap that's not asap i always forget that dude that's travis that's travis that's okay travis. there you go yeah travis i mean travis putting travis, travis, travis up there sh sure like his last album was trash like let's let's keep it a buck his last album was garbage and he had every major player on that album he had everybody on there I say the same thing about Twenty One Savage. I'm not feeling Twenty One at all, bro. He I, got better. Listen, Twenty One. Yeah, Twenty One is, is 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 boo boo, bro. <laughs> like I can't. No, I don't even understand. I don't even understand better. how he got that listen, big. I can't. Listen, Twenty One got way better. I, is he to the level that he that everybody else is? No, bro. Like his his, his latest tail, single, which was uh, his latest single, which was Red Rum. Really. Like red rum, red rum. You get that a, red uh, rum, Atlanta, red rum. I was like, what the fuck? He's an Atlanta trapper <laughs> that, that got shot up. What do y'all think he's gonna rap about? Come on, y'all gotta understand. Uh, got good, Twenty one got good beats and he got good flow and he got a good voice. I'll give him that. Give he's him gotten him. better. No, his hooks. I'll, I'll give him his hooks. I'll give him hooks. Like nah, he's listen. Twenty one gotten better. Yeah, yeah. He's got, sure? he's got good. Ushered in the wave of toxic rap. Yeah. No one else. No one else does it like Future. Let's yeah. keep it a whole stack. So, okay, back back to the back to the top three here. Drake has top ethered three, MCs three, before, three. right? Drake no. e, e, Drake ethered, ethered Drake MCs. ethered me. Ethered. No, Drake ethered me. Nah, he ethered me. One battle. Nah, he no, ethered me. He ethered common. No, 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 no. He ethered no, 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 common, no. bro. Got locked up. Who me? There's a difference. I think Kyle yeah, Meek got locked up. Bro, do you hear his response? Don't make me play his response. That shit was garbage, bro. You remember when he Drake dissed Meek and then Meek came out with that uh response and it was like, that's it. The only reason it, it, it got messed up because Undertaker like fucking sued him because he used his theme. That's the only reason why it really wasn't out there out there like that. Uh, and Drake was popular at the time. I remember this very vividly. Very vividly, yeah. Very vividly. And it was over like the ghostwriting thing, because mm -hmm. Some, it was a bunch of other stuff, and then yeah. the common thing was over Serena Williams. Like, what the fuck? Drake, 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 <laughs> what the, where did she come from? <laughs> no, the Drake versus Common beat was over Serena Williams. Over I'm Serena being Williams. dead serious. What the fuck? I did not know Serena was involved. Yeah, because because Drake was dating Serena or trying to get Serena, and like, and then Common, it was something weird. He, but Drake has never ethered anybody. Oh my God, man! Ever. All I, all I. He I, gotten I, lucky. He got like, lucky. He's gotten lucky. He's still pissed about Push. Like, how many years later now? When did they tell him to come out? <laughs> I didn't even know he was still rapping about Push. I didn't even know he was he, still rapping about Push. Bruh, in a meltdown, he's talking about bought the chance for me, bought some melted it down. He's talking about Pharrell. He bought all the shit from Pharrell. <laughs> like, he's still pissed. So, so here's the thing. Uh, even even if you don't feel he didn't he didn't ether uh, Meek and he didn't ether Common, he still he still got bars enough to go to go at it with Kendrick. I'm not so sure about no, Cole. No, he don't. I don't no, know. I don't, don't know any beef with Cole that has actually gone in his favor. Go. Cole Cole no, hasn't gotten in anything. Yeah, he hasn't gotten in anything. Don't get in beefs. Huh? The Cole only one that beef. has legit is scary as hell and the beef is Kendrick because Kendrick will dissect you in a way that'll make yeah. you be like damn like what happened right like, like he don't he don't sneak this like that and then I don't know if y'all heard that uh the leaked version of Element he was about to take Big Sean out the paint but he gave that beat to SOB for uh, the Black Panther soundtrack mm -hmm. 
Oh, I remember, I remember that. I remember that. What big, the buddy. fuck? Because he, he teased it in the heart part five, and everybody knew it was Big Sean. I was like, oh, damn. If Big Sean say something, he going to get murdered. Chill out. <laughs> but then I guess he responded, but it didn't come out. And then it finally leaked, like, either last year, a couple months ago. Nah. Like, Cannabis yeah, it did. Song. I'm being dead serious. I will send you the whole, like, leaked version. He says Big Na Sean's name in the song, and then goes after yeah, oh. him. Okay, I'm being dead serious. Can you imagine J. Cole and Drake getting on a verse and just both teaming up on, on Kendrick? That they're going to have to, but then Kendrick's going to get three people that they don't <laughs> want people. no smoke. I with. mean, he got okay, so here's the thing. One he, is push. He got he got future on the push. track to help him diss. No, future got him. But tr future Kendrick, didn't say anything. Him. Future got him. All Kendrick gotta do either he get see, first off, Kendrick and push together on the track is already thin. Nostalgia, if you heard that song, you know how well they they fucking mix together on the track. Yeah. So he don't want no problems with that. So Drake better take this one on one. Cause if he get push involved, it's over. Cause push him by high bet. Well you said, you said you said you said push you said pusher ain't even trying to like he's just doing his own thing now. Like he's not even really tripping on But him. but I'm telling you, if Kendrick make that call, be like, oh they team team up again. Like, let's do it. <laughs> he gonna Fuck make a it. phone call? <laughs> You make the phone call. You gotta make a phone if call. You're like, guys, Yeah, is on a on a war path. Yeah. And if he's pissed off enough, he'll actually spit some bars. So it could get real ugly really fast. Yeah, I like, just... think about Kendrick pushing Ye on the track. Produced by Metro. But nobody like Ye right now though. Nobody's like yeah, like, he's kinda he's kinda he had the number one album in the country. Yeah, I mean that doesn't mean anything. Like that doesn't mean anything. Like what the like come on, like nobody like Ye is pissing off way too many people. Like he just is, and uh, the way he carries himself at this point, like no one's trying to fuck with him. Like the, we, let's, the, I mean, we keep it a buck. Like we lost the old Kanye, you know what I mean? Like we we've lost him. But um, the the There's new Kanye, the new person, Kanye, he's got enough clout. One more person that people don't realize that Drake is pissed off because he don't appear on shit with him anymore. And if Drake all of a sudden sends a weird shot, he might get him too. Well, here's the, here's the thing about Drake, in my personal opinion. Ten years in the game. You know, he, 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 ten years in the game. He's been on top. Right? Ten years. Ten years. He's in the game. He's been on top. When? When he? When? When should he be dethroned? Like, it's time to move he's on. Been like low key, he's been dethroned, but it just sells is different. Yeah, yeah. He's he can, He knows what's popular and knows how to get people to still listen. Well, uh, not from his old, last if album. It was, if it was not from his last album, that shit flopped like still, a. It's, no, it didn't flop. It still did good. It. Right, like sales well, don't let me matter check anymore. The sales the streaming on that, numbers. Bro. You gotta remember. We gotta remember. It's streaming numbers now. It's not sales. Anymore. Yeah, okay, come you on. You know those things are inflated. As man, nah. You know those things do, are inflated. Do it, as it, do it matter to the people in the public? All they hear is a good number. Do nah, 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 nah. Yeah. The real ones know, but <laughs> this is not too early two thousands. It was early two thousands, and Drake went through these beats. He'd be done. You, we know that. Yeah. Push but, with a, I actually excommunicado him. You couldn't put out shit without people reminding him. Yeah. Why and, do you think why do you think Ja Rule struggling now? <laughs> I mean, this is just Ja Rule. Come on, like, come on. He's like, like fifty. If fifty would have did to Ja, what Push did to Drake, Ja wouldn't even get a job at VH1. No. I, I, again, you you got like Ja. Ja can't do anything. Like like that's why he's doing the whole, um, you know, trying to be like a mogul. Kind of like Jay Z and doing different stuff like that. He can't really push music anymore. The best he could probably do is find another artist uh, and and like you know help he, make. He him can't make even do that. He's trying to come out with another album. Talking about, I know y'all miss me. No, he didn't. Oh no, <laughs> I did not hear. I, I no, he dead ass said that. Oh no, I you know, hey man, best of luck to him. I, that's all I say. I mean, good music is good music. I ain't tripping. You know what I mean? Like if he comes up with good music, I'm, I'm all for it. But I I think he should. He should probably work on something else. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just one of those things where you kind of you, you you know where the the you, you know where to draw the line. You know what I'm saying? You know where to draw the line. Um, it's crazy that um, J Cole, Kendrick, and Drake didn't just make an album or a tour together and just dominate everything. Like that's what I was expecting. Like them to actually just come together and just completely take over the game. For like one like one big like big tour and like resurrect hip-hop in that way um I, I i still remember 
uh, you know, like the, the underground beefs that were, were out there. So um, I want to ask you guys, top three biggest beefs, top three best best rap beefs uh, are, are rap albums um, that that were the, the greatest beefs of all time. Uh, Muffin, Nas go. Nas was definitely one. Nas and Jay was definitely one. Nas and um, Jay, okay. Damn, actual fucking beefs. I mean, you know I come from the old school New York hip hop. Yeah, of course, I mean, of course. I mean, cannabis and LL, but I'm, I don't nah, know. Nah, that, that was unfair. That, that was unfair? unfair? You think that was unfair? That was unfair. That, that was I, I'd say, I say, you, you I think cannabis I lost. That was unfair. I say, I say cannabis lost that. Huh? LL uses power for that. That was unfair. <laughs> was yeah, smoke. you got that shit. You know. Yeah, every, everyone, everyone agrees that L won that. Um, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the person that made him I mean, change the verse but still kept the original one on the song. Right? <laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. Okay. Um, he had beef with so many fucking people. I would say my number one, I'll just say my number one was definitely Jay and Nas because that was a good back and forth. Ah, okay. There were a lot yeah. of good songs that came out of that. That's true, that's true. Um, Poochie, what do you think? Uh, uh, top three greatest uh, hip hop beefs. So, of course, Nas and Jay. Okay. There's one that people don't know. There's one that people don't know. That's happened in the South. Zero and Trade of Truth. Trade of Truth. That's still going on now. It's still going on now. Oh so shit! Still they still on... zero. No, <laughs> didn't, didn't Trade of Truth get zero beat up? They, it got him drunk. Yeah. Oh shit! What the fuck? They, they, they were in the same nightclub. They seen Zero walk out. They jumped walking to his vehicle and they jumped Zero. The fuck? Yeah, dog. Oh shit. Well, yeah, tip little flip. Like I said, with me, I'm looking at hip hop. From the south, you know. Right, yeah, I know, and that's that's why, so, that's why I got you, because you because you you have that perspective. Is the south. I still got some east and west, but my shit is more for the south. Yeah. So that's why I'm gonna bring in that little mix. So yeah, who is zero? Get this guy out of here. <laughs> he said, "Who is zero? Get that guy out of here." <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, Trey. Uh, three top number three. Number one. And this is this is always gonna be my number one forever today. Fifty and John. It doesn't matter how much. Anybody's that was to... ongoing, bro. That was like the longest oh, what one. Did, what did what did Jai even do back, bro? I got a hundred clips, hundred go, like guns. Come on. <laughs> hey, man, right hey, hey no, 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 no. Clapback was hard. No, 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 no. Uh, clap muffin, clapback was hard. Yeah, no, clapback. No. Clapback was hard, bro. Like, nah, that that was not. Yeah, yeah. Fifty was about to bar him up on his own song. He changes mind. He's like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna rap on this shit. Yes, you know. And yeah. remember the the the, the ja Rule shit stemmed after Fifty took over for Eminem when he was beefing with Ja Rule when Eminem was beefing with Ja Rule. No, if Fifty and Ja have been way before that. I know that, it was, this was, that, was some it street shit. Like really yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that's why they ended up in a studio game, you know, poked up and everything like that. Cause yeah, yeah it was it was like stuff ja from way before responses? that. Oh fuck out of here, bro. Yeah. Whoever the WB is, is troll. They trolling because they said Push was pillow talking. Which that's that's my number three, like Push that, and Drake. But second is Jay and Nas. Jay and Nas. There's okay, a lot so. of honorable mentions. There's a lot of honorable mentions, but I go for ones that but like you know it cut deep. Have I go for the ones that No, have you ever heard Back Down? I back smell pussy. Oh yeah, that was a order of protection. Like bro, like hmm. Oh my lord. Alright, uh my top three. My top three uh has got to be um Ice Cube versus NWA. That that That's a good one. That is yeah. that is the most legendary hip hop. Like that is the greatest diss of all time. No like Vaseline. it does not matter. It does not matter. Ice Cube versus uh, No Vaseline was the craziest fucking diss. Um second, close second, I would say <clears throat> would be I want to say I, I do want to say Ice Cube versus uh, Cypress Hill because he murdered nah. them too but it, not a lot of people remember that one you know what I'm saying so it kind of it kind of fell through but um, uh, the second one I would have to say would definitely be um, uh, I'm going to say I'm going to say 50 and Jai. That was like the biggest one. That was like the biggest uh, uh, beef that lasted for so long. You know what I mean? And the last one is gotta be 100% hit him up. Tupac and Biggie. That was like the biggest beef of like all time. Hit, so, hit him up was a great fucking. Hit, hit him up was the 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 beef of of literal like of hip hop like just 
like there was in no general. hidden lyrics. It was just I'm calling you out by name. And, yeah, and yeah, like that I was the that. like like that is like the the hip hop beefs of all time. So, yeah, no, um, <laughs> there's been a lot of stuff going around uh, that uh, that has resurrect. Let's let's keep it real. I don't like when MCs go at it, but when they beef, they don't hold back. They use all of the bars. Like you see lyricism at its core like when people are, are are dissing each other you know what i mean and uh that's when you see the elevation of hip-hop because again like we talked about it's it's competition and when there's competition uh shit gets elevated so i would like to see and we haven't seen that in a while yeah you know nikki's beefing with you know cardi b and megan the stallion and stuff like that but like like, like it's kind of like Nikki doing that because she's she has That's to be the queen. The she has issue. to be on top. You know what I mean? But then you got well, like she don't understand that, that there could be multiple. Then you got like you know Ice Industry Plant versus who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? Like I, I, like <laughs> like none of that shit doesn't mean anything. To, like in in, in, a, in a capacity of of actual lyricism. But when the bars are coming, you got Kendrick versus Cole versus Drake. Bro, the bars are coming. Like we actually gonna see some. Some good lyricism, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, well, I'm hopefully, gonna say one honorable hopefully honorable yeah. Honorable I mean, mention. who do you who do you? One honorable mention was Fifty versus Rick Ross because that shit actually went like almost overboard. When he well, was here's the thing, and, and here's the, the thing the about bro, like here's the thing about that, about that no, beef. A lot of people, a lot of people say um, Rick actually won that. He didn't. Rick survived. He, he survived. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I agree with Trey on that. I he survived. He didn't lose exactly. it. Because he had DJ Khaled behind him. If he didn't have Khaled behind him, uh, he would have survived that he, shit. He didn't lose. He survived. Listen, there's an honorable like, mention that actual... most people didn't even know about. Is Well, then some people knew. It's like T.I. and Luda. Luda won that. Come on. That was, that was a no-brainer. Luda won that. No, nah, that one they Luda just won that. they just fixed it because they got like physical. That's the only reason why they fixed it. Yeah. Because that stomp record when Young Buck jumped, that was kind of funny. Because Ti didn't mean anything. Luda just took it a disrespect. He was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. <clears throat> and then something popped off, and then Ti responded to something, and then they just pieced it up later. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm taking off. I'm gonna take off. 50 Cent and uh, Ja Rule. I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to put in Exhibit versus uh, Justin Dupree. God damn! That man oh, ethered the hell out of that man. Bruh, that disc record was so... Like, they had to, like, cut parts out because he, they were on the same uh, label. And my guy, if you go back and listen to that track, Exhibit murdered that man. I couldn't believe he said it. 50 had nothing for Rick. That's crazy. That... 50 had nothing for... For Jose. Oh, uh, oh, four. When Jose. the whole crew buying you movies on now. Multiple well, tracks, I mean, you can't really compare your past as a CEO. You never a drug dealer. You you can't really. You one can't of your really... baby mom's sex tapes out there. Got your other baby moms brought to the crib, bought her furs, and treated your kids nicer than yours. Had your your Thank side you. dude jump at the award show, chain took and put the chain in the video. <laughs> like. Thank you, Trey. Should I keep going? Yeah, should I keep going? Like, <laughs> God, damn. Trey, Trey Pound actually knows nothing, the shit like, that what actually went on. Talking you, about, you, don't, you don't seem to know all the shit that actually fucking happened. Like, no, not all the extra, people. not all the extra underground shit that happened, like you know, behind the scenes and shit like that. No, that that's why, that's why I have y'all here. No, let me say this: Ross has better production. People don't realize this. If you take Ross's lyrics out of the production, he is mid as fuck. He just has great yeah. production. Yeah. Yeah. Justice League, yeah. Yeah. Cool yeah. and Drake, yeah. the, the, the yeah. things he get from Khaled and Wayne in them. Yeah, that no, no, he keep. Ross, 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 Ross has bangers. He is trash. Absolutely, absolutely agree. Uh, Ross, Ross has bangers because of the fact that his production is is. He gets is carried awesome. hard, bro. He gets yeah, absolutely, hard. absolutely. Uh, like Maybach music, like his is is, is, is pure fire. And that's his shit. It, Maybach music is pure fire, but that's because of the production. Like uh, he does not talk about anything uh, substantial at all, and lyrically he's not that good. Like it's just, it's just Ross isn't up there. But like his music, his music sells. Uh, let's just keep it a buck. Barely. Like it, it, it makes it, he makes money. He, he knows how to make money. I mean, you look at look at um, ICP. Look at um, uh, Strange Music. 
like they get no radio play and those dudes make millions it's because they know how to sell records so they're i would say rick ross is a good businessman as opposed to you know a good rapper but you could say the same thing about puffy you know what i'm saying like yeah he's a good businessman that's what he does but he's is he a rapper no not really but i mean it'll take you shopping and touch you afterwards <laughs> i mean shit uh, it, is, it is what it is like th these guys are good like, businessmen they know how to move bars, units y'all be saying rick ross actually better than he is if y'all know y'all took that production out he would sound mid as fuck oh yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely um and uh i would say the same thing with the um uh, uh oh god was a uh who was the hootie who god um oh master p master p there you go yeah yeah master p same thing uh these, these guys are they're great man uh, he just made louisiana music like i can't yeah. be mad at it yeah you can't I, be mad I at it that. right you can't be mad no they make good music. good music the bottom line these guys make good music yeah yeah they make good music so um to to, to 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 end it off um uh it's gonna be crazy to see what happens now um we haven't seen j cole diss anybody so this will be the first time that j cole gets on a trash and disses somebody uh, it'll be kind of cool to see um uh, uh, future teaming up with uh kendrick means future is getting carried like he uh, he can't diss anybody like he i feel like future is more r&b than he is uh, uh rap so uh he's he's in his own lane kendrick should probably team up like you said with like maybe push a t or um hmm. yeah i think just push a t really um to to really uh go at cole and drake and um, if this has been bubbling for a while, uh, it's about to spill over because uh, this is going to be uh, kind of crazy to see what they come up with. And I'm all about it. Uh, I, I can't wait to see what they come up and uh, I'm ready to hear some more tracks. Um, uh, production wise, uh, I thought the uh, I, I, I production wise, uh, I thought like that was OK. Metro Boomin's got some fire beats. Like, let's just keep it a buck. He does, but I wasn't feeling yeah, the, I wasn't feeling the track on this one. But uh, the, the lyrically, Kendrick just bodied everything. So, um, who do you th uh, who do you guys think is gonna win this? Kendrick. Kendrick. I'm gonna let K Dot. You know, J Cole's like top tier for me, like literally second favorite artist. I personally don't even like Kendrick. I, I, I fucking hate his voice. It irritates the fuck out of me. Sorry, <laughs> his, voice? <laughs> his, his voice? His voice irritates the fuck out of me, bro. As soon as this shit comes on, I will switch it so quick. Oh, shit. Hey, that's, that's fair. Him that's him fair. No, that's that's. Cool, that was it, bro. No, and that's And I know fair. that's an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people love Kendrick because he's a Yeah, no, because yeah, he's got bars. I, I, I but I hate his fucking voice, bro. That shit irritates the fuck out of my eardrums. Yeah, no, I... I it, 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 that's, it's a fair it's a fair assessment. I, I agree. Um... I think I can't stand um, uh, I can't stand uh, Cardi B's voice, but man, if she makes some, uh, you know, uh, she ma she has some bangers, so you know, it is what it is. We, we, we take take it with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? All right, I gotta ask this question before we go. Yeah. For so for the big three, what is in order? Your one, two, and three, and I'll tell you mine first. Uh, are we talking? Okay, so here's the thing, though. Are we talking about all time, or are we talking about ones that are no, alive? No, I'm talking about between Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake. If you gotta put them in order, which one? What's your order gonna be? And I'm gonna give you mine first. Kendrick's number one, Cole's number two, Drake's third. I'm gonna Which say Cole, Kendrick, Drake. Cole, Cole is first, you said? Cole, Cole, Kendrick, Drake, yeah, that order. Muffin, go. Uh, I gotta say Cole first, Drake second, and, and Kendrick third, just because I don't like him. Just because I like him. <laughs> um, Cole first. Um, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Kendrick first. Drake second. Cole last. Um, Drake's impact is 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 way too big, mm. but lyrically, Kendrick would probably body uh, Drake. Like, let's just keep it above. No, I agree with that. But and that. and Cole and Cole, he just doesn't. He hasn't. I, I haven't heard anything substantial outside of his solos. You know what I mean? Or some of his collabs. But I I just don't. I don't see it. I don't see it with Cole as as much as 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 influential as he is. I do not see him on the same bar as. Kendrick or Drake. 
literally have you not have you not listened to the recent song he did with drake bro? yeah well, I, it was good like no I, oh well you know what drake did he murdered drake. that shit. yeah okay 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 i was gonna say because i was like no wait he's better than drake well then i listen like, wait no drake did kind of him on that one and that's the problem we always do we always compare like we we, we put these we put these dudes on a track and then we compare oh whose bar was better you know what i mean and it's like they're on the same track. They're collaborating. Like, why do we do that? Like, why do we always fucking compare? Like, this is the reason why Kanye um, uh, opted to take uh, Nicki off of that track that he had when uh, she was on there. Because she was too good. And he was like, I can't let her body me on my own track. And he actually admitted that. And nobody would admit that. But he actually admitted that. It's like, no, she was that good. So... Steve, uh, hip hop is about fucking ego, bro. Even even on yeah. the fucking track, Kendrick himself, they make Spider Man mean like yo, they, they talk about that shit right in the fucking track, bro. Yeah. Hip hop is about ego. I mean and, there's no hiding it. That's that's what it's about. And that and I don't think that should have I don't think that's what hip hop should have evolved to. When you have, you know, um uh you know the era of De La Soul and and Fushnikin or Fushnikin, sorry, I think I said her name wrong. Um, you know, uh um uh pride yeah uh yeah pride uh and uh, uh uh all of the underground groups you know what i mean like back in the day you know what i'm saying like the underground hip-hop groups you know we're talking we're talking krs one days you know what i'm saying like those were the <laughs> Like different ways. Like this is the thing. Like that's the shit. Like it's cool to just keep it rat though. If they just keep it rat. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. I, do, I agree. Yeah. Don't no, do keep... this other like shoot them up shit unless it's like severely rooted in there. Yeah. Like I love the fifty beef, but I wish it wasn't as violent as it was. Yeah. The they call keep it in the studio. Keep it. Keep it in the uh, studio. I, I, I like the fucking. I like the beef. I love that shit. Bro. <laughs> so I like okay, I Muffin. I say, I say, if you're gonna have beef, if you're gonna have actual beef with somebody, it's not just on a fucking rap track. You're showing up at his fucking house. Right, and but then the we I'll we uh, but the problem is that we lose artists, we lose talent, we lose we lose. Yeah, the, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Because Biggie and Pop can still be here now. If, like, if you really if you really come at me, I'm gonna come at you really fucking in real life. And sure, and and only, and let's let's keep it and let's keep it a buck. That's what it's actually evolved to when you look at drill rap. That's what it's actually evolved to, and that's the problem. That is the actual problem because it evolved to that, and now people we lost people like Pop Smoke because of that culture. You know what I'm saying? Um, drill rap. Uh, keep it drill rap. Be thing, drill drill yeah. rap is the evolution of dis of dis uh, rapping. Like it went from I'm gonna diss you and I'm gonna uh, you know uh, talk about. Uh, you know, all of your faults or whatever like that. And, you know, Pac took it to another level. It was like, no, nah, I'm going to come at you. I'm going to kill you. Whoop, de, whoop, de, whoop. Then you got Drill Rap, who's dissing the people they already murked. Bro. Like, that's a completely different level. And it's not even, it's not even a, a rap game at that point. It's a numbers game. Can you understand how detrimental that is to a fucking community? Like, yeah. that is a problem. That is not just... Oh yeah, you know it's beef is kids, dope. Man. You know I, I'm glad to hear it on a record. No, hand, that is a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we it, keep it in the studio. Like, don't let that shit like boil keep over keep the this street. In the studio, because I'm tired of having to keep keep Betsy on my side because little people want to be wild. They want to be wilding, wilding on the streets, and then just so that they can go on Twitter, this, uh, and then make a, a diss trap on SoundCloud. Nah, that's not that's not a good look. Like that's that's crazy. But it's. We, we don't have anybody to blame but ourselves, I, I feel, because we supported that shit when, you know, uh, um, NWA was was uh, dissing uh, two live crew and, uh, you know, back when uh, uh, you had all this rap beef between, uh, what was it, uh, DMX versus uh, uh, Dog Pound, you know what I'm saying? Like, all we, we, we kept that stuff up. We kept buying into that stuff. And so it just evolved over time. And now you have a new generation that's taking it to the next level. And it's like, oh, what did we do? <laughs> like, oh shit. I will say they went too far. Nowadays it's gone too fucking far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you remind me of. I mean, Biggie, Biggie and Pac was, was too far. Like, Biggie and Pac you was too far. You just reminded me of something. I forgot. This is an honorable mention. It yeah. was like D Block versus G Unit. That was actually really good. D Block versus, yeah, yeah. That like, was Jada and Style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I mean, to be honest, it actually goes further back than that. I mean, you had like uh, Prince and and Michael Jackson going at it. Like they had beef, right? But they didn't do records about it. Like they, they just had public public beef. They were just petty. Yeah, they're just petty as hell. Same thing with um even before our, before our time um uh uh James Brown, James Brown. There, there's a story of James Brown going up to a a, a club with a shotgun. And, and and fucking with like uh, one of the R and B singers at the club, and like just shooting up the club and shit like that. And people are like, "This motherfucker crazy!" Like, uh, like no, it's it's it's, it's, it's been, been around for a while. Like this is like this shit has been generational. It's just that keep it in the studios. And with these three, I think they have enough money, they have enough clout, they have enough common sense to keep it in the studio. I, I think that's yeah, that's I fair to say. I don't, first of all, I don't think any any three of them are fucking actual gangster gangsters. Yeah, not, no, like no, yeah. no. Kendrick might be. Yeah, he's 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 from I that area, know. but I I think he has enough no, level he's head. He's from that area, the West Coast. The, West Coast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't Kendrick have like ties with Tyru? Yeah, yeah, no, I I remember I remember that. Was one. Yeah, top dog and school yeah, boy top dog, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. But you gotta, you gotta understand. He's he's at a level where he's not gonna throw his life away. But he would like never. That. He would never that. do he that. Was, yeah, yeah. He would have and and he and protected him. Yeah. So like he wasn't into that. Yeah. But Drake was on the grass seat and Cole just cold people. Yeah, so, he's like, 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 why you going, like, like, why you go after Cole? What did he do? Like, like, Cole's a nice guy. Why would Cole you do that? Got crossfire. That's yeah, like, right. He just he, he got a straight. Why you say fuck me for? Why you say fuck me for? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, good shit, man. Um, uh, Drake, Kendrick, Cole, crazy beef. Um, I, I'm, I can't wait to see where it comes up with that. Um, I might do a continuation when uh, they actually do some responses. So. Guys, keep uh, 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 keep keep in contact with that. I'm gonna hit you guys up for for some more of this madness, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Cause GG. this is crazy. GGs, yes, indeed, man. GGs, crazy.